We've recently come back from a holiday in Cornwall and uh, one of the things we did whilst we were down there is to do a bit of exploring in the, the car but we decided to turn the sat nav off after our first couple of trips um, because it insisted on taking us down very very narrow well they not weren't even roads to be honest they were more of a, a, a track on one occasion I was when confronted with a tractor I was forced to reverse back up the lane for about a mile to let the tr tractor squeeze by I wonder whether you've ever been faced with a change of direction in your life. We certainly live in times where we are constantly looking out for where our direction has to change, uh, ter certainly in terms of the rulings around the pandemic. In today's passage, um, we see Ruth having to make a decision. Does she turn back with her sister to a situation and a people that she uh, knows and uh, a degree of safety or does she continue the path with Naomi into a future that is perhaps uncertain but it turns out to be a future that is really blessed by God. The result of all this is that she finds herself or we find her as an important link in the genealogy of Jesus as we read in the early stages of the Gospel of Matthew. So what decisions will you make particularly around your faith today and this week? When faced with a difficult change of direction perhaps we should place the utmost importance on the direction we've been given by God through prayer and through study of his word. So as we face the pandemic, as we face life, may you be able to discern and ask God for discernment what direction you should take today and always. May you know the blessing of Jesus today and always.